What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the EAFC Career Mode, it's episode number 7. Uh, returning today, just played the first game, uh, there was a really poor goal to draw away at Portman Road. So that means now we're 9 games to go. We're, we're still in the hunt for that second and automatic promotion spot, but to be honest here, I'm just worried about West Bromwich Albion in 7th, Millwall in 8th, and even Norwich in 9th as well. I still think the catch us right now with 9 to go. So yeah, poor goal destroyed, it does mean our unbeaten run extends to 7, and directly after that game here, we've got 3 more scouting updates, let's see what we got. We're from Wales, just going to continue scouting on 2 players here, and give no one a scholarship. And from Spain, I mean, I could not be more disappointed in Spain. I really thought, you know, they were going to give some great players, which is fair. I'm going to give this guy a scholarship potential. Seems to be settling in now at 81 and 94. It's just a shame that the overall is just so low. And I still can't believe that Finland is willing to be the best players. I quite like the look at this guy. Potential seems to be set. Kimo Leo looks pretty solid. And uh, I might give Oliver a scholarship because if he's coming out of DM with these, these stats here, I'd imagine that would have a big position cha uh, overall change. Once we change that position for now, I'll continue to scout it. Um, right, so, yeah, jumping into the uh, first play game today, as long as it wasn't worse than that one, that'll be West Bromwich Albion at home. Nine to go in the championship and a chance to pull away here. If we beat the baggies and make sure we get some separation on the teams outside the top six. Yes, second is still a possibility, but really, I'm not thinking much about it. I just want to make sure we wrap up a playoff place. First game, baggies at home. That Ipswich game was awful, man. <laughs> there was nothing going on as well. But I often say, even though Ipswich are bottom of the table right now, those those can be like the hardest games to win, you know? They often are. Um, oh my goodness, what a goal. But we've got a goal down six minutes here. And I think our unbeaten run might be coming to an end after seven. That is incredible from Nathaniel Chaloba. Well, not from him specifically, but from West Brom as a team. That's unbelievable, man. What a goal. And this is going to be a big loss here. Again, we're not that far clear of West Brom. Cullen! Oh, weaker right foot drags it wide. So they're going to close the gap here. With eight to go, you know how OP form is. I'm not going to lie. That would be just one win in four. Are we starting to worry we could, uh, we could drop off at a crucial time? Come on. Come on. Got to get back in this. Yeah, we'll have that. Thank you. And Cullen, great turn. AK. With the soap, Cypria. Oh, good save and turn behind for a corner. Still down by one. Good response, but need that leveller. It's coming. Cullen, surely. Oh, how has he missed? Oh, no. Josh Marger. What a ball, what a ball, what a ball. Oh, the footwork is incredible. Rushworth just about keeps it out. Just about. Ginley, what a ball. Kanunen. Kanunen! Massive swing. Could have gone two goals down. And we level it right before the break. Liam Cullen. Ginley, three to Kiprianu. Gets it back off him. And Cullen tackled. Nice oh, from all clear. It's going to be three draws in four this. I guess we're still unbeaten, but it's highly great form. But still time to win this. The Cypriot wins it back. And now Kanunen. To Jamal. Must finish. Come on. Always believing. Jamal Lowe. Two assists for Kanunen. Swansea from a goal down. Lead 2-1. This will be a massive win in South Wales. Yes, good tackle, Ben. And I think that's going to do it now. And Kanunen, lovely ball through. Going for a hat-trick of assists. Jerry Yates to deliver it for him. Off the bench. And number nine wraps it with a dagger. Swansea. Gaining separation, massive win. Yeah, it's one of those football rarities, a hat trick of assists, but it's so cool when you see it. And that is a massive, massive win, man. West Brom could have cut the gap, instead would extend it by three points. That right there, that win can't be understated. No losses in eight, what a run. And just before that South Wales derby against Cardiff, uh, we've got a youth player unsettled email. That is, uh, oh, that's that, that's that giant centre-half. I don't really want him anymore, man. I only, I only kind of wanted him because he was just an absolute monster. 
wants to, because there's so many other Finnish talents, I'm actually going to release him. Like I said, creme de la creme, man. Creme de la creme, that's what we're after. But uh, Tito jumps up four. I was fixing more run over overall jump there. Is, uh, is now at 84, uh, 54 overall. I wish it was 84 overall. Right, uh, following game then, Cardiff City, South Wales Derby, and right now in fourth, cutting, uh, extending the gap, sorry, uh, on the bag is to 11 and 8 clear of Watford as well. This is the time now for us to pull away, and if not catch Leicester in second, at least cement a playoff play. South Wales Derby looking for revenge after losing in Cardiff. Come on, you swans. Eight games without a loss, best run four all season long. And if we can make it nine in a row, what a time to be coming into four as Jamie Patterson gets on the move. He slides through Yates. What a ball. Great link up play. Can we. Jamalo! Oh, this is cool. Do you know what? My phone slipped on the circle button, but he still converts. Not the first time I've done this in this year's FC. I've talked about it before, the way I hold the controller. I use like the middle part of my phone to power up circles. Sometimes it slips off. It did definitely still beat Runison to give us the lead. Always believe in your soul. You got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in. Jamal Lowe, 14th of the year for the top scorer. Swansea strike right before the break. Oh, that final whistle. There it is. There it is. A scrappy grind out 1 0 win in the South Wales Derby. But once again, Jamal Lowe, the difference man. No matter what division we're in next season, Jamal Lowe is coming back here to the Swansea.com stadium, man. He's made so much difference as our top scorer this year. Nine games in a row without loss. The Swans have escaped. Mr. P.I. Steger, I hate to tell you this, mate, but you're going to catch those swans. Well, it's just a one swan, actually, but at the moment, we are flying right now. So, a little hot fuzz reference, those don't get it. Um, yeah, Academy update as we enter April. Uh, you can see our best players in the U squad right now. Got to say, a couple are still really exciting me, but mainly that uh, that Finnish goalkeeper who picked up in the last episode, Hamilton. You know, Carl Rushworth still our number one this year, of course, but for next year, when Fish is gone, this guy's definitely going to be our bench keeper. With seven games to go as we're now 12 clear of Watford in seventh. I think playoffs are looking very likely now. But seven behind the Foxes. The question is, can we catch them? Sunderland away. Following game here away at the Stadium of Light. Aiming to extend our unbeaten run to double digits for the first time all season long. Come on, you swans. Fulton. AK. Great dribbling by the rifle. And Ginnelly. Oh, straight passing. Only real chance we've had all game long. Just couldn't find a back in the net. But that might drop to Harry Darling. And it's a great save by Anthony. Turned onto the roof of the net. And he's just made two big saves to keep the Black Cats level. And possibly make sure they won't lose here at home. Kanunen. Far post. is generally on the volley. Momentous pressure on the Black Cats here. I think that's going to do it. Oh, ref blows for full time now, which is well within his rights to do so. Late chance to win it, just couldn't take it. Goal to straw. Okay, fair enough. Two draws in four, but still unbeaten in ten. That's still not a bad record at all, that. And if Leicester win that game now, which I expect them to do before that Plymouth game, then they drew it, so it means the gap remains at seven. Could have cut it to five, but for now it remains at seven. And we need a miracle to catch them now, but... Playoffs look all but nailed on. 10 clear of Watford. I think if we win here against Plymouth, that will surely do it. Following game back home, Plymouth Island. I think, yeah, if we win this, I can't see us dropping out of the playoffs from here. Forget the Foxes. Forget all the matter promotion. Let's just stay in the playoffs. Come on, you swans. Surprised if the unbeaten run goes here. 10 in a row without a loss, but Plymouth struggling down the bottom of the table. It should be a banker, but... And again, it was supposed to be against Ipswich at the start of the episode and end up as a goal destroyed. I didn't even get a highlight for, so... Well, we said it many times. These can be the hardest games to win. Oh, and that's why I'm not that surprised. We almost went to goal down. It's an excellent stop by Carl to keep it 0-0. Man, I know I've said it so many times, but as long as it's been playing since FIFA 99, like, I'm, I'm adamant, absolutely adamant a handicap exists in the game because these games are always, practically always, most difficult to win. Is he? Is he? Oh, what a back heel that is. Oh, my goodness. What a goal. I'm not even surprised, though. Plymouth at our house on a nine-game, a 10-game unbeaten run. 
and they've just scored a lovely little goalie going in front. Not even one bit surprised, man. EA, could you make it any more obvious, honestly? Down to go, down to go. Half an hour to go, plenty of time, but uh, this has been a tough game, this. Really, really tough. As Ginnelly steps around Kessler Hayden. He's a teammate. He's got one in Yates. Patterson gives it him back. Ginnelly just couldn't get through. And that oh, goodness, almost went in. Change of 17 on the clock. Elliot List off the bench. Often where he does his best work. On for Jerry Yates. Firing a blank. Patterson whips in the corner. And Velasquez a free header. Which Connor Hazard does enough with. Turns it behind for a corner, but 15 to go. Can we find that equalizer and extend this unbeaten run to 11? Jamie, another good delivery. Ginnelly! Ginnelly heads home. Swansea with the equalizer. But it's still a slip up, man. We need to win this. When you talk about redemptions. I mean, Ginnelly at the start of the season, I was not getting on with him. But to be fair, he's, he's done all right since the early struggle. And he's really found himself at left wing because, well, speaking of, he's just turned Kessler Hayden. Oh, he's almost inside out, but it's cleared away. And now it's it's all Swansea. Momentum's totally changed. It's all Swans as we push for a winner. Ginnelly, Patterson, Balassi, List, List, Ginnelly for the win. Oh! Brace for Ginnelly. He's turned it round. The position changes. What seeing is improving in form from striker to left wing. So much better on this flank. Swansea are going to win it late. Yeah, give Ginnelly some credit, man. Don't get me wrong. He's not. He's not been amazing for me, but. To be fair, you know, to, to now go to five goals, chipped in with an assist as well. A lot of these games have come from the bench as well. Considering at the start of the season, he went 16 games without a goal. Well, four in 14 for a left winger. That's not terrible. And he's chipped in with an assist as well. Change of position, change of fortune, and fair play to the guy. I love that. When you're struggling, try something different, and it might just work out for you. Right, still seven behind Leicester, though, heading into the following game. Watford away at Vicarage Road. And we're now 10 behind, as I knew they were playing on the Saturday. Two in a win against my boys. We ain't going to count. Him now. 10 behind the Foxes, 5 to go, but 11 clear in Norwich and a game in hand as well. So win that and mathematically we lock up a playoff place. So we can do that here at Watford with a win. Come on you Swans. Jamal Lewis, alone from Newcastle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, what, oh, what a miss. I was going to say, what a gift. And in the end, what a miss. How, wow. Honestly, man, precision finishing. I've said it before. <laughs> Sometimes it makes you look like a right prat. That is a shocker of a miss, man. That's one of my worst in FC 24. I don't know if I missed a target from there. Blimey, three goalless draws in six games is uh, not exactly the sort of form that would have Premier League sides worry about a newly promoted team. Because if that's what we're going to be, we're going to have to do it via the playoffs. Any chance of making the top two now is basically gone. 12 clear in Norwich. It's it's basically confirmed now. We're going to be in the playoffs, but top top two is definitely gone now. Right uh, before the following game against Rotherham, uh, three more scouting updates here. Is Beta, I think is going on the transfer list. That's fine. That's totally fine. We've got plenty of left backs here anyway. Three more scouting updates. And uh, today, guys, actually, what I'm going to do is ask: Could you put the uh, the comments in today? Hashtag Docs Youth Scouting. Where are we sending our scouts next? We'll have, we'll have one more month's worth of scouting. I think we've got one more or two. We've only got one more left. But in the comment section down below today, guys, today is the day. Hashtag Doc to you scouting. What country should we scout next? Tell you what, you boys pulled out of the bag with Finland, man, because we've had some amazing Finnish players. But yeah, hashtag Doc to you scouting. Leave me a comment today, guys. I want as many comments as possible. Oh, hello. He could be all right, him. Uh, I want as many comments as possible, guys. So please, please, it only takes a few seconds. Type me out a comment. Hashtag Dots you Scouting. Tell me where we should scout next. And just a one player making our academy this time. That's Tattoo Oliver. Because his potential range still looks really good despite low overall. And like I said this before, like if you see a player where you look at the stats here. And okay, you, you, you don't get the best range. But you can kind of tell they're not really supposed to be playing in that position. What that means is very simple. If you do change their position, you'll see an overall spike. So don't, don't be put off by that low overall. If you can tell they're clearly playing in the wrong position. He, he's listed as a CDM. But he's not a CDM. When you when you look at these full stats here, he's he's quick, 
He's got good dribbling, he's got good agility, good curve. And with those defensive stats, he's clearly not supposed to be a CDM or a CB at 5 foot 9 either. So if you do see a youth player that you're scouting with an incredibly low overall, take note of their position and their, um, their attribute ranges because the chances are they're just playing in a wrong position. This guy to me is clearly... I'd say an attacking mid or an inside forward. Right, uh, let's jump into the uh, following game. And again, Rotherham here heading into this one. Only a point is all we need now to guarantee a playoff place. But really, we know it's basically there. It would take a miracle for us to catch the Foxes. But now we just want to make sure we lock up third and have the strongest possible finish this season. Come on, you swans. Key lifts it to Ginley. Nicely done. Kanunen. Ginnelly. Get Oh, I was going to say gets another instead. Hits the post. Should have been in front. Blew it against Watford. Just blew it there as well. That's two golden one-on-ones missed in a row. That's, that's poor, that. Really poor. It's Ginnelly who's been amongst the goals recently. Finding Jerry Yates. Jamalo, the dummy runner. Drop two, Kanunen. And there's Ginnelly. And do we get it right a second time? Yes, we do. Not going to miss three one-on-ones in a row, guys. <laughs> Not going to let it happen. Ginnelly, amongst the goals recently, opens the scoring with second attempt. Swans in front in South Wales. Yeah, sorry, but whether playoffs are at stake or not, I'm not I'm not letting myself miss three one-on-ones in a row. That's just embarrassing, man. There's pride at stake. And there's Rotherham. Look for their level. Still up by one. Goals being very... Hard to come by recently. My game's been quite low scoring, but that means we do give a clean sheet. Now we'll see the playoffs confirmed. Was that a pen? It is indeed. Didn't press the circle button or nothing. And this is why I don't go for stand tackles often, because you miss time it and give away a penalty. I didn't even press circle there, but he still whips out a left leg and brings his man down. No complaints from yours truly. Pen for the Millers. And a chance for Sam Klukas to get Rotherham back on level terms, which he does just that. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, sometimes, like, the man you're selecting will just stick out a leg regardless. Like, I didn't even press circle there. Hand on heart. Hand on heart right now. My right hand, hence why I can only dribble with the left, left hand on the left stick. But seriously, like, that, that, he just stuck it out for no reason. It's like, bro, why? You know? There's Ginnelly. Oh, he's on fire right now. Ginnelly. Restores the lead instantly. He's on absolute flames. He's really reinvented himself since changing to left wing. And we love to see that. He's uh, he's thriving. Oh, he's absolutely thriving on that flank. He loves being on the left wing, honestly. He's like bring back old labour. And here he is again. And it's Jerry Yates to wrap it up. Swansea City are heading to the championship playoffs. And that's it, 3-1, and Swans have locked it up. I doubt we'll catch Leicester now, but playoffs are guaranteed. Yeah, seven behind Leicester with five to go, and they've just won as well, so now it's up to 10, which means that we now mathematically cannot catch them, and it all comes down to whether we'll finish third, fourth, or fifth place, and where we rank up for the seeding. So, uh, following game, I might as well play all the final three, or at least two of the final three. Uh, Huddersfield away from home as we're going to lock up third. I want to finish as high as possible. Well, regardless of where we do end up finishing in the playoffs, no one, and I mean no one, is going to want to be drawn against us. We haven't lost in, I think, 13 games now. And we've barely lost a home all season long. Don't forget the semis are a two-legged affair. Oh, Ginley with a nutmeg. Ginley with a nutmeg. And Colin says, I'll give you an assist for it, bro. I'll give you an assist for it. Do you know what that's like when a player nutmegs someone? It's kind of like when it's in the opposition, like, final third, I should say. It's like, it kind of reminds me of, like, an angle breaker in basketball. Like, you've got to finish the play. Do you know what I mean? You've got to finish the play, whether with an assist or... A three-pointer or a, a layup or a dunk or a two-pointer. Whatever the case may be, you've got to finish that if you put a man on the floor with an ankle breaker. This the same sort of thing. Ginley with the nutmeg, so we had to finish the move. Cullen does just that for Josh. 12 in 24, Swans in from. Not many things kind of get me out of my seat, if you will, or get me out of my chair. But nutmegs. Oh, no. I love a nutmeg, man. I love a nutmeg. That's a, that's a pan, that's a clean pan of that from Ginnelly. Right through the legs of Tom Lees. 
Oh, that's naughty. That is, oh, yes. That is so nice. Yeah, not, not many things get me truly excited now I'm a chair and getting close to the mic like that, but that, oh, <laughs> I could watch that for at least another 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Had to finish the move off. And thankfully, Liam Cullen does just that. Right, back to the game. <laughs> I know I'm tempting fate by saying this, but we have not had an injury in quite a while now, have we? It's been ages since our last injury. We had like three and three games and a free header for Cullen, no, headed away. Oh, look what's just happened, Doxy boy. You utter, utter sicko. I'm slightly concerned about that Liam Cullen injury. We'll take a look and see how bad it is. But to be fair, even if it is longer than a bruise, it, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I've ragged on Jerry Yates a bit this season, but to be fair, he's not done a lot wrong other than chirping up in the manager's office every three or four weeks. But a win there away in Yorkshire. We knew the players were guaranteed. We further cement our position and hopefully try and hang on to third. The only question is, are we going to miss Liam for the playoffs? Or is it just going to be a bruise as we now go five clear of the Saints? Yeah, just a bruise. In the end, it's totally fine. Right, let's do a couple more, yeah, and end the regular season today. Uh, final away day of the regular season as well, our following clash. Stoke away as we end to extend our unbeaten run to 15. Incredible streak. So this is uh, pretty impressive for us, man. Like, seriously, it's 15 without loss if we fail to get beaten here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so it's pretty amazing when you think about it. Like, considering how inconsistent we were at the start of the season, considering how competitive this, this division is. Oh, Kanoon how? But you failed at the target. What was going on my finishing today, man? Seriously, no, I know I've scored a few goals, but I could have had a bucket load more. I just keep missing the target. That's the third time today, that. My goodness. And Kanoonan is left-footed, by the way, as well. So, oh, why couldn't I switch, man? Why couldn't I switch? You know, there are some goals where you think to yourself, look, I'm not going to blame the game, but it's like, seriously? Freaky into the middle. Carl comes, didn't ask him to. Gets caught, well, doesn't get caught. Piles it up in the air, but doesn't claim it. I'm trying to switch with the L1 button. I can't switch. Leaves the goal completely gaping. It's like, well, what can I do? I've, I've, I've done what I've wanted to do, and the game's not letting me do it. Ay, ay, ay. That is frustrating. And again, to be fair, I missed that sitter. I ain't got myself to blame for that one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't believe this is going to go in, isn't it? Oh, my God. One of those games, man. One of those games. No losses in 14. It's ending here in embarrassing fashion. I missed a sitter. I've had two howlers for the goals I conceded as Vinigal makes it two. Okay, the first one, I could probably blame the game. But for this one, goodness gracious. Trying to pass out to Josh Time and Harry kind of gets in the way. And in the end, Andre says, I'll take that and manage to squeeze it home. Swansea, 2-0 down. That long unbeaten run is ending in Staffordshire. Like that, thank you. Jay. Ginnelly. Kanunen. Lovely ball. Jerry must finish. And this time we'll get it right. Great finish by the number nine. And Swansea are back in it. Plenty of time, man. 32 minutes to go. Plenty of time to extend that unbeaten run to 15. Oh, but we need another goal. Stoke now starting to rock a little bit. So we're Stoke done a great job in this second half of just... Oh. Keeping that ball in their possession. Couldn't get it off them, and in the end, they'll hold on for the win. Our unbeaten run ends after 14 in the final away day of the season. That's not good news heading into the playoffs. And it means on the final game of the season, if Southampton win away at deep down against Preston and we fail to match their result, we will drop to fourth heading into, and in fact, even Middlesbrough, if they win their game, who have they got? Borough have got, or are they? Away at West Pro, if they win, and we fail to get at least a point, they will drop to fourth. We can even finish as low as fifth, heading into the final day, but winning against Bristol City locks up third guarantee. Come on, Swans, let's end by making sure that third spot is ours. We love that, we love that, we love that. Cullen, Patterson, Liam Cullen! Can't go into the playoffs on the back of back-to-back -back losses, man. That's nowhere near good enough for our form heading in to the home and away legs. Liam Cullen ensuring we'll return to winning ways and showing that Stoke game was just a blip, man. He's been so big for me. He has 13 goals for this season now. And no doubt about it, I, 
in those playoffs, I'm going with him ahead of Jerry Yates. Yes, he's lower rated, but he's been in much better form this season for me. I think sometimes like we get so hung up on, uh, on a player's overall rating. And don't get me wrong, of course, it's an important indicator of how good that player is. But sometimes when there's very little difference between two players, I don't, I don't really look into that. You know, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I'm more than happy to play a player if he's two, three, sometimes even lower ratings than that, more regularly if he's in form. Form, to me, is the big indicator as to whether a player should be starting or not, much more so than the player's overall. Player doesn't have an overall in real life, for example, as Cullen finds Ginnelly. And speaking of form, this man right now is in red hot form. What a way to go into it towards the end of the season. Swans tuning up, points in the bag, win on the final day. Yeah, both goals come in in the first half, and Swansea City are going to put that loss to Stoke right to the back of their minds and lock up third place. And even though Leicester probably are the best team. Borough right below us, and whoever is sixth, I think it's Watford, I would say that we are favourites to go and win the playoffs. No one's going to want to face us, man. Only one loss in, I think, 16 or 17 games. Bring on the playoffs, man. We're favourites for it. I think it's in Leicester. Sorry, I mean Southampton. But in the end, it's Watford who will have as they finish sixth. So it's Leeds up as record point setters in a challenge of 112 and Leicester in the end do fend everyone off as we expected to claim that runners up place. We do finish third, free clear in the borough, Saints and Watford making up the playoffs as Carrick side will take on the Saints and we will indeed have the Hornets. And I'll definitely say we're favourites that both home and away as the bottom three in the end with Plymouth, Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday, all three of the newly promoted teams. That'll do it for today's episode, guys. So big favour watching the Penalty episode of Season 1. If you have enjoyed it, then please drop a like. So you'll have a fantastic day. And we'll see you in the season finale where we'll play the playoffs with our first leg coming away at Vicarage Road against Watford. No doubt about it. I think we're favourites to go on and win the whole thing and make it through to the Premier League. Failure to do that, and I think we've bottled it. Have a great day. Much love, and I'll see you at the season finale very soon. Come on, you swans.